to today's edition of Pegasus Test. On today's edition, we're reviewing the 511 Tac Tech plate carrier. All right, here's the front of the vest all geared up. What I've done is I have mounted two uh, rifle mag pouches. Each of these pouches from UW Gear hold two 30 round PMAGs for the AR system. Over here I have a pistol mag pouch holding some pistol mags. About two thirds of the top of the vest is covered in a material, I don't know what it is, but it interacts really well with hook and loop type patches. And you can see I've covered the thing here with patches because why not? Up at the top here you have a strip of Velcro for mounting a name tape. And you have this locked down little bib that when you pull it up gives you access to the cummerbund for donning and uh, doffing the vest. Additionally, up here on the shoulder pads, these areas open up for adjustment and it's also a great way to control uh, things like your hydration system like I'm doing here or run a cord through for your radio system. The entire back of the vest as you saw earlier is completely covered with molly. Here I've mounted a source hydration system to it, taking up pretty much the whole back of the vest. And just like the front, the two-thirds top of it is covered by a material that is, as you can see, very Velcro friendly. Another feature of this vest I think is super cool is the drag handle on this thing. This thing is super usable and incredibly well designed. Velcro down so it's not in the way when you're not using it, but if you need to use it for its intended purpose, it's actually practical. You rip it and you pull it out and you've got an ability to pull your buddy out of danger in a more comfortable way for him and a more ergonomic way for you. This is incredibly good design. All right, we have the vest opened up here. Of course, you've got your two pockets that hold the armor. Uh, every play carrier has that, no big deal there. You notice here there's four pads on each side, and that helps create some airflow in there, and that really makes this vest pretty comfortable to wear because we wear armor in any environment, you get hot. doesn't matter how cold outside it is, you do get hot. So the fact you can get a little airflow in there and helps keep you cool makes this vest very comfortable. Another thing that makes this vest really comfortable are these pads right here for your shoulders. They are generous and they have a mesh material that allow for airflow and that on that as well and makes this a really really comfortable uh, vest to wear. Also in addition you have these extra keepers here if you choose to use them they flip around and you can keep extra cords and other things under control with that if you don't want to tuck them under the flaps like I do with my hydration system. In addition the cummerbund is made of stretchy material so as you move around or as you dehydrate during the day and your mass actually contracts a little this will contract with you to keep the vest riding comfortably the same way you expect it to ride. Another cool thing is it actually creates a bit of molly here and you can weave things into this if you want to carry things on your side. My preference as you'll see when I wear this vest in competition is to put my first aid trauma kit you know, on that, uh, on that webbing right there, and that's a nice good place it rides. I can get to it if I need to, but it's not in the way either. All right, one of the things that makes this vest really cool and awesome in my opinion is its infinite adjustability. A lot of armor systems out there have limited adjustment and therefore don't ride correctly and are fairly uncomfortable. This one's an exception to that rule. And let's go into why it's so adjustable. And what you'll see is right here, this little black cord that connects here to the front and it runs up through the shoulder pads on each side and as you crack them open you can see there's adjustment because this cord weaves through and you can adjust this pad up or down to adjust for your height of how it rides on your body. Second form of adjustment is back here. Under this little bit in the back you see the cord comes down through the cummerbund here and then tucks in under this thing on each side. This is how you adjust the length of the cummerbund. And it's a really simple method. If you want to make adjustments, you just pull up here on the thing and pull the cords out as such. And they'll pull up all the way through the vest. I'm not going to go all that way because then I have to rethread it and I have this all adjusted for just the way I want it. But you pull that part, the vest, the cummerbund comes off, and then you can make adjustments up here in the shoulders for your height. You can make adjustments down here with the cummerbund for your girth, and the system's pretty solid. And what you do is once you've made your shoulder adjustments, you just weave it through, get the cummerbund where you want it, 
and weave it through these little slots here. Keep feeding the cord through. And once it's through, a little hole in the fabric there, then just the excess tab or cordage goes in there like such, and then it's adjusted. Rinse and repeat here on the opposite side. Put our excess through, make sure it's good, tuck it in. And then your cummerbund is completely adjusted and stays in place once you lock this bib down. And there you have it, the Tactic is adjusted to what you need it to be. When it comes to armor, there are two distinct schools of thought. One school of thought is, you cover your armor with all your gear. And as you've seen in this video, I have mine festooned with my pouches for my pistol and my uh, rifle. I've got a first aid pouch on the side, a hydration system on the back. And that's a method I choose to go through. It's a method that people like, and it's a method that works. There's another school of thought out there, though, that says you go slick. And you have just an armor carrier, and then you have your rig go over the armor and you. And that's not a bad school of thought either, because it definitely works. That's one of the uh, designs behind the British Osprey system. That system was designed to be your load-bearing equipment and wear over armor, not attached to armor. Which one's right? Doesn't matter. It's which one's right for you, and that's all that matters. If you want to go slick, the TacTech will do the job. Price-wise, the 511 TacTech is middle of the road. There's plate carriers that are a lot more expensive. There's plate carriers that are cheaper. It's right there in the middle. It's a good carrier. It's got a lot of adjustability to it. It's got enough molly on it that if you want to go with the system of attaching your gear to it, there's plenty of places to do it. The cummerbund here on the side actually provides you an uh, ad hoc molly attachment method that works pretty darn solid. I know I've used it in competition to carry my trauma kit and it's done just fine. It's held up and not gotten in the way. The vest is very comfortable to wear as I've mentioned in this video. It's my primary vest for competition for sure, and if I had to go down range, I would not feel under equipped taking this vest with me. As in all things related to gear, a lot of this is personal choice. When you have the ability to make your personal choice and your gear is not issued, do a lot of research and find what's best for you. For me, the TacTec 511 works pretty darn good. We hope you found this review of the 511 TacTec plate carrier helpful and informative. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and tune in for future armor reviews.